Hey guys, what's going on? Just wanted to make a video here showcasing some Pathfinder training tips. Um, I'm going to share with you guys the maps that I used to level up from 200 all the way to where I'm at now at level 256. And um, I'm going to show you guys how you can train to 275 and what, what are some of the best maps to go to. Um, little disclaimer, I am... Uh, what is known as a lazy grinder. I I am a big fan of mindless training where I can turn on YouTube or Twitch or Crunchyroll or just any kind of just video that I can watch so that I don't have to focus primarily on the training. Um, not only does it allow me to stop staring at my experience bar waiting for it to move up to 100, but it it makes training kind of enjoyable. It's almost like training is something that you're just doing to keep your fingers busy while you watch your favorite TV shows or your favorite streamer or or anything in that regard. Um, so I just want to say that the particular maps I use, I pick for their ease of training and not necessarily for their experience rates and monster density. So there may be more efficient maps to train with, to train in as a Pathfinder, but for me, um, the maps that I will be sharing with you today are the ones that really worked for me and helped me get to where I'm at now without stressing about it or thinking that it was too tedious or, or killing my fingers in the process. Um, so let's begin. Um, and, and side note, I also want to say that this is a non-reboot um, server here. Uh, we're playing in Elysium, so we do have access to the Frenzy Totem. And if you're in Reboot, this item does not exist in Reboot, but this is a, a spawn booster, a spawn enhancer. It will very much speed up your training. Um, if you're a non-Reboot player, do not fret because there are plenty of people in all non-Reboot servers who sell Frenzy Service. Um, Frenzy Service is where you pay the player X amount of mesos for an hour of having this totem casted in your map and then your map being boosted. Um, it's relatively cheap, uh, about 50 mil up to 100 mil an hour. And while you might think that's expensive, uh, believe it or not, the mesos that you will be picking up from all the monsters you will be killing will pay for the frenzy service that you are using. So this is essentially, um, this is essentially something that you can use to boost your training and it pays for itself. It's not going to cost you anything. You do not need to own a totem, um, and most of the maps that I will be showing you work a lot better when you have a Frenzy Totem. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, first up is Arcane. Well, first you gotta go to the Arcane River and the Vanishing Journey. Um, as of 2020, we now have Reverse City and, Ch and Yum Yum Island. I will not be talking about these places because I personally have never been there. Um... I don't really know where to train at in these places, and so I will not be talking about them, but there are places in here that may be beneficial for you, um, might be worth checking out on your own, but uh, I'm just going to show you the maps that I trained on in the main areas of the game. Um, so first up we have Below the Cave. Uh, I like this map because it is a two layer map, and Pathfinder can basically jump and attack and hit the entire like area so um highly recommend if you do not have a lucid soul you get what is called a normal lucid soul i do not believe i have any available to show you uh right here my soul bag i do not have any normal lucid souls but um what you want to get is a normal lucid soul because this is the only soul that turns into a stationary summon therefore it gives you an edge in every single map um you can clear this layer for example for, for instance with this soul and not have to worry about constantly coming back up here to clear it because sometimes it's hard to reach so let's get started we put our frenzy down put our lucid soul down pop your raven tempest and then we have the new skill the new fifth job skill uh relic unbound which is very very useful as well you can put that in there and then you just kind of jump and attack, jump and attack, jump and attack. There's a there's a portal here to go back to the beginning, and then you jump down and attack, jump and attack. Pretty 
pretty straightforward. Not too difficult at all. Um, you can train in this map until level 210. And then once you hit level 210, you will unlock the next place in the Vanishing Journey, which is the uh, Choo Choo Island. Um, I said Vanishing Journey. I meant to say Arcane River. Just kind of back and forth grind. When your summons are up, you can cast them. Make sure you always remember your guiding arrow. Keep that out. When your lucid runs out, you can stick her back up there. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, just jump and attack, jump and attack. Next up, once you hit level 210, we go to the Choo Choo Island. Uh, there's a couple maps here you can train at. Um, the Torrent Zone one is pretty decent. You use a similar style to what I just did, where you go from left to right and then use a portal to go back to the left. I personally like the Slurpee Forest Depths. Um, and here's why. So, so this map is going to require you to have Stance, uh, which you can get from leveling up a Mihail to level 210. Um, technically, you only got to go to 200, but it's better to go to 210 so you have the maximum duration, maximum stance. Uh, and you apply this, and then you basically stand here on the edge of this platform, and you just go left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now let's get our Frenzy up. Let's get our Lucid at the top. And then you go like this, right, left left right left right left and then you can always remember to uh use a torrent to go up to the top so you can clear that top layer and just go right left uh when your relic unbound is up put that over here when your raven tempest is ready throw that down and this right left right left right left and then torrent up occasionally so that you can attack those monsters at the top relatively easy map um i like it because the monster density is pretty thick um not a big fan of all the platforms personally i really don't like having to train on the corner like this but this is what i did um in order to get to level 220 now like i said uh it is 2020 and we do have the yum yum island available as well as an option to train in um with a whole bunch of different maps that i personally have not explored so it's quite possible that there is a even better map to train in within all of these maps uh with monsters that are a little bit higher level than the monsters that are here with better experience gains so this may be outdated info but for me personally this is where i trained this is how i did it and it worked for me. Um, once you hit level 220 though, you start to get to the real fruit of the Arcane River. And that is when you reach Lachalane. Um, Lachalane unlocks the Arcane River Droplet Stones, which monsters in Lachalane, Arcana, and Morass will drop you Arcane River Droplet Stones. Um, they are used in order to access the Arcane Umbra equipment set. And they are quite valuable um, in the market as well. So at this point in the game, you can start farming and potentially making a lot more mesos than you used to make if you get lucky and you find those stones. Um, however, in Lachalane, there is one map in particular that I really liked for Pathfinder, and that is the Revelation Place number three. Uh, this map, is, <coughs> excuse me, this map is very, very easy. Um, I like to throw my Raven, to start off, throw your Raven on the right side, Get your Relic Unbound up. Put your Lucid on the top right. Get your Frenzy Totem out. And then you just kind of go back and forth like this. Just keep jumping back and forth, back and forth. Um, this isn't my, fav my most favorite map in the game. However, uh... In terms of Lachalane maps, I think this is one of the best ones for Pathfinder because of how close it is. Uh, using the new 5th job skill, Relic Unbound, plus your Raven's Tempest, you can basically get some pretty good full map coverage in this map. 
um, and you basically just have to jump back and forth, similar to Vanishing Journeys um, below the cave. Relatively straightforward. Uh, luckily, you only have to train here for five levels, because once you hit level 225, you access the next place in the Arcane River, which is one of my all-time favorite areas, the Arcana Mysterious Forest. Um, in particular, there is a map here that is a long-time favorite map of many players who have journeyed through the, the uh, Arcane River, the Cavern Lower Path. Um, also has the name Cavern Lower Prison, Cavern Lower Prison, because you can basically level up in this map from level 225 all the way to level 255 if you wanted to. Uh, the only reason you would do that is because you would be farming the Arcane River Droplet Stones. Uh, and this is one of the best maps to farm those stones in and still get good experience rates. So in this map, extremely easy for Pathfinder. You put your Lucid Summon over here on the far left because there's a chance you might not always hit it. You get your Relic Unbound activated. And then you basically go like this. You just go left to right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. It's like you're in the military walking on a march. Left, right, left, right. Looks like we have an e-boss. Random e-boss spawn. Let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Uh, one thing you can do as a beginner pathfinder, um, you can add the skill Vicious Shot, which helps you in situations like this where there's an e-boss. It really boosts your attack um, and makes you a lot stronger. So our Lucid summons back up. We're going to put her over here on the left. And then we are ready to grind. Let's throw a Raven Tempest out there. Make sure our Guiding Arrow's back up. Raven Tempest, if you want to micromanage it, you can try to keep it on that bottom platform by switching it around. Um, if you don't give a crap, you can just let it fall off. It'll fall into the water. And then uh, we'll simply only attack the bottom layer. I recommend you try to give it the micromanagement that it deserves because it will allow you to clear the map a lot more efficiently. But you're basically just going left to right in this map. It's uh, super, super straightforward, super easy to do. Um, one of the most relaxing forms of Pathfinder training, in my own opinion. Requires very little upkeep. Very little upkeep. I like this map a lot. I personally trained my Luminous here until level 255. I trained my Pathfinder here until level 250. And then I moved on to Esfera for a couple of levels because I needed Stone Origin Droplets. So let's move on. Uh, that's the Cavern Lower Path. Uh, this will probably become one of your favorite maps. Uh, I know for a fact it's one of mine. Um, next up in the Vanishing or the uh, Arcane River is Morass. This place actually sucks. Um, <clears throat> there is nothing for you here, unfortunately. Except for dailies. Uh, you're definitely going to want to do this place because of your dailies. But um, morass maps are extremely large. Um, not very many people train here. Uh, this used to be a popular place for vanishing or for uh, arcane river hackers. Uh, because these maps were so, so huge with a lot of monster spawns. And um, not a lot of people actually came here to to train so hackers could kind of hack and bot here in peace um you're basically just going to skip over this place simply do it for the uh, story and of course the dailies that come with it um but once you hit level 235 you unlock esfera and esfera is really cool because esfera introduced a new droplet to the mix you have the stone origin droplets which are used in the arcane in the arcane number shop in order to purchase the helmet and the shoulder pad so uh shoulder um uh shoulder and helmet here for the stone origin droplets they have a pretty good value <clears throat> um and they drop only in a sphera for a pathfinder in a sphera there's a couple of places you can go to um you could try mts3 you could try mts4 
mirror touch to see that's where the mts comes from i personally i personally like mirror touch C number two um the reason i like this one is because the platform layout is just good enough for me to do a nice circular rotation and not trip up too much so i like to put my lucid on the top left i get my raven tempest going and i just kind of go in a circle um clearing everything as i go basically get your relic unbound on the left side i kind of basically have full map coverage right now um it's a little bit hard in this map it is a big map but um i i basically like to just go in a circle like this kill as i go This type of training puts a little bit of stress on your fingers. Um, I used to dislike the multi-hour sessions in Esfera. However, I had to train here for a little bit because I was farming the stone origin droplets in order to make gear for my character. And I kind of just picked this map and I trained in a little circle like this. When your lucid comes back up, you stick her on the top left. Uh, you can comfortably train in this map until level 260. Uh, the rates will be a little bit slower in the 250s. However, if you are still farming droplets, it is personally it, it is absolutely fine to train here until level 260. You won't be hurting yourself too much. Um, when you are ready to move on, however, the next area that is unlocked is Moonbridge, which is part of Tenebris. Uh, in the maple lore, this is the final destination of the Black Mage. So you have the Moon Bridge, the Labyrinth of Suffering, and Limina, where the Black Mage boss fight is. Um, Moon Bridge, once you finish the story quest, there's really... I don't know Moon Bridge too much. I don't really train here. I trained my Luminous here for a little bit, and the map I like the most is the Void Current 3. Um, I like this map... I like and dislike this map. This map has really nice monster density with a frenzy totem. However, there's a lot of platforms, so I, I don't. Th th it's a parallel map. Um, or or uh, it's basically symmetrical, so both sides are the same. So it doesn't really matter where you put uh, your lucid. I like to put her on the top left, and then I just kind of went in a, in a little circle format when I trained here. Use your summons when they're up, your Raven Tempest, your Relic Unbound. Using Raven Tempest and Relic Unbound, you can basically get almost complete full map coverage for about 20 or 30 seconds in this map. Uh, the monsters here give a significantly higher amount of EXP than they do in Asphera. So if you get tired of farming for droplets or you simply do not need the droplets, you can come here and uh, get a whole bunch more experience and level up to 250 a little bit faster. And then once you hit level 250 and you've decided, hey, I'm ready to go to 275, then next up on the list is the Labyrinth of Suffering. Got to be level 250 to get in, locked behind a story quest. Once you're finished the quest, you can access the maps. And I I used to train a little bit at the interior 6. However, I believe that the deep core number 5 is the best Labyrinth of Suffering map for a Pathfinder. Um, very similar to the Moonbridge setup, where you have like a bunch of platforms and then some pretty decent monster density on each platform. Um, I like to put my lucid on the top left here, and then I basically run this map the same way as as, as the Esfera map. Basically, you go into a little circle like this. I trained here from level 253 up to level 255. As soon as I was able to go to Limina, I bolted over to Limina. Uh, this type of training is not bad. Um, however, when you're casually trying to watch some TV, um, sometimes all the moving around gets a little bit annoying. I prefer uh, Cavern Lower Path style of training myself. But um, 
for getting up to level 255, this this map is pretty good. Um, monsters have pretty good experience compared to the ones in Moonbridge. Mesa bags are relatively thick. And then you just kind of go in a circle here. And then, of course, when you finally make it to level 255, you unlock possibly the best area in the game for training the 275, and that is Limina. Limina is the final destination before the Black Mage. Um, has a bunch of cool maps to train in. Um, I know of people that have gotten the 275 at World Sorrow Midpoint. People that have done it at the World Sorrow Depths. I like the end of the world, which end of the world is this far right side here all of these maps are part of the end of the world and um you can train at either one five which is my favorite map or you can train at two five um i'll showcase one five first uh this particular map is where i trained my lumi to level 275 and since then um with the awake update nexon changed the maps a little bit where there used to be monster spawn at the top left here. And so your, your Lucid, you had to put your Lucid right here on this platform in order to clear these two platforms. Therefore, the left side here, unless you had other summons, it was harder to clear this left side. Nowadays, since we no longer have the monsters at the top, everything's on this bottom floor here and then this right side, um, you can get by with just having your Lucid over here like this. And then she's going to attack the left side for you. And then you run over here to the right. And all you got to do is just attack. Let's get our frenzy down. And I'm not even kidding. All you do is sit here and attack. You don't even really need to turn left. But you can if you want to. Um, I just sit here and I hold down my button. Uh, because of the 100 attack limit, you are going to have to occasionally move your character. So that you can reset your attacks. Uh, but this is like super mindless grinding. You throw your raven down on the left to get some extra DPS. You make sure your arrow skill is up. Your holy symbol is on. And you basically just grind. Move your raven when you're ready. This place is super easy. Um, I basically get about 10% an hour here. Uh, I can get a little bit more, but I choose to train with drop and meso gear on, so I do not use a spirit of dependent. Um, I also do not use EXP accumulation potions. Uh, the new fifth job skill, Relic Unbound, works very beautifully in this map. Uh, if you use the torrent version, you can usually place two, sometimes three. The third one's not really doing anything because it's all the way up here and there's no mobs. But this one right here is keeping this left side clean. And then this one right here is helping with that middle. And then I'm over here on the top. And I'm basically getting some full map coverage. This is probably some of the laziest Pathfinder training possible. Uh, when all you really have to do is mind your summons. When your summons ready, you go back over here, loot your mesos, teleport back over, loot your bottom mesos. I said teleport, I meant to say flash jump. And you just kind of keep going at it. Super straightforward. Um, I'm level 256 right now, but I am probably going to be training here until level 275 depending on what happens with uh the future updates depending on how long it takes me to get to 275 the meta might change they might add new maps in grandis one can only hope but uh very looking forward to uh spending my next 19 levels here i really really like this map one of my favorite maps in the game very easy to train in um, if you don't like this map, you want to change the pace, uh, you can go over to 2-5, as I talked about earlier. 2-5 is basically the same as 1-5, 
with the exception of the map being a little bit um the, the map's basically not as wide and the, and the platforms are a little more spaced so you can stick lucid down here at the bottom she will still attack this layer up here and then same deal as two five you go over here you put your relic down and then you go like this basically the one reason why i don't personally like this map is because unless you jump attack occasionally you can't always guarantee that you're clearing that super top layer like this one right here at the very top sometimes those monsters hang around um at end of the world one five you don't have that problem because the macro skill hits the entire area but with this map it's sometimes a little hard to hit those top monsters um the guiding arrow of course cleans them up and then occasionally the uh the bountiful burst arrows are also cleaning those as well but sometimes you just have to remember to do a little jump attack just to make sure you're clearing them when your lucid summons back up you go over here you put her back down loot your items then you go back up here and it's basically the same deal uh, training here is just like training at end of the world 1-5 the only difference is because these monsters are a little bit more higher level than end of the world 1-5 you do gain a little bit more experience per kill i believe it's like 24,000 experience or something like that you're gaining on top of end of the world 1-5 so if you're one of those people that you want to have the best rates possible you're probably going to want to train here but as a Pathfinder, like I said, it is sometimes hard to clear that top layer, um, consistently at least. So, just something to keep in the back of your head if you decide to train at this particular map. And then you can train here all the way up to level 275. Um, and these are some of the best maps in the game in my opinion a lot of different classes can train here not just pathfinder um all depends on the person's style and what they what they desire most for me i personally like to train without having to worry about too much micromanagement and having to pay attention to the screen all the time i like to be able to casually watch netflix or hulu or twitch and and not have to focus entirely on the game itself but um that's basically it in a nutshell um those are the maps that i train on have trained on am actively training on and it's working for me i plan on getting my pathfinder to level 275 sometime within the next year and then uh i will think about my next project after that but um that's basically all i had for you guys uh i hope you enjoyed the video um sorry it was a little low effort um if you have any questions or you want to see some further rotations or you want to watch me train in a particular map for 10 minutes so you can get an idea of how it works out slide me a dm on uh discord or leave a comment on the video and i will respond to you as quick as i can um also in the about section will be a link to my nodestone video in case you are having some trouble setting up your pathfinder v matrix um and so that's that's all we got my friends i appreciate everybody watching um hit the like button if you were a fan subscribe um hope to see you around and i will catch you on my next video peace